Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well today. In this video, I'll show you how to install Android on a modded Nintendo Switch with a built-in mod chip. With Android, you can turn your Switch into a versatile tablet, allowing you to run apps, stream videos, and even play mobile games. I'll guide you through the entire process step by step, from preparing the necessary files to booting into Android. Make sure to follow along carefully to avoid any issues. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight to the tutorial. Okay, this is my Switch. As you can see, I have one game installed, and the Switch is currently running on Emunet. As I mentioned earlier, installing Android on the Switch can only be done on a device with a mod chip installed. In addition, you should already have your SD card set up with a custom firmware pack. To install Android on the Switch, we need to allocate a separate partition on the SD card for the installation. Normally, adding a new partition would require reformatting the SD card, which means deleting all existing data. However, in this guide, we'll install Android without erasing any data on the SD card. So before we proceed with the installation, the first step is to back up the existing data on the SD card. Now, let's move on to the backup process. First, boot your switch into Hecate. Let me quickly explain why we're booting into Hecate. The data we need to backup includes the custom firmware pack installed on the SD card, and the EMU MMC. Backing up the custom firmware pack is simple. You just need to copy and paste it to your computer. However, backing up EMU MMC isn't as straightforward as it depends on how your SD card partitions are set up. To check your EMU MMC partition setup, go to Tools and select Partition SD Card. If you see only two colors, green and red, on the partition bar, it means your EMU MMC is stored in the red partition. Most EMU MMC setups are configured this way, using a dedicated partition. To back up this type of EMU MMC, you must do it through Hecate, which I'll show you in a moment. The second possibility is that the partition bar is entirely blue. In this case, backing up is easy. You can just copy and paste the entire contents of your SD card to your computer. The third possibility is that the bar has three colors, green, red, and orange. This setup is similar to the first one, but with an additional partition for Android. If this is your case, you will also need to back up through Hecate, but note that the Android setup itself cannot be backed up. For this tutorial, I'll assume your SD card partition bar has two colors, as this is the most common setup. Now, let's back up the EMU MMC. First, select OK, then choose Close. Next, click on Backup EMMC and toggle SD MU MMC Raw Partition to On, since we'll be backing up the EMU MMC stored on the SD card. Then, select SD MU MMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. Once that's done, click Close and proceed to SD MU MMC Raw GPP. Unlike Boot 0 and Boot 1, this backup process will take longer, depending on the size of your EMU MMC and the quality of your SD card. Be sure to note the total backup size, as we'll need this information later when recreating the SD card partitions. Now, let's wait for the backup process to complete. Once the EMU MMC backup is finished, select Close. Next, we need to copy the entire contents of the SD card, including the EMU MMC backup we just created, to the computer. To do this, connect your switch to the computer using a USB Type-C cable. Stay in the Tools menu and select USB Tools. Then choose SD card. Now, let's move over to the computer. A new drive named Switch SD will now appear on your computer. We need to copy all the files from this drive to the computer. First, create a folder to store the backup. I'll name it My Backup. Then, select all the files and folders on the SD card and either copy and paste or drag them into the backup folder we just created. Now, let's wait for the copying process to finish.
Once it's done, eject the Switch SD drive safely. Now, let's go back to the Switch. Now, we'll repartition the SD card and add a new partition for Android. Stay in the Tools menu and select Partition SD card again. Click OK to proceed. Next, allocate the sizes for each partition. Set the EMU MMC partition to the same size as before. In my case, it's 12,295 megabytes or roughly 12 gigabytes, which matches the backup size we noted earlier. This is why I asked you to write down the total backup size. Make sure to adjust it according to your setup. For the Android partition, I'm setting it to 64 gigabytes, as that size is sufficient for my needs. However, if you want a larger partition, feel free to increase it. Once you're done, select Next Step, then choose Dynamic, and proceed by selecting Start. Wait a moment. Then press the power button to begin the SD card partitioning process. Once the process is complete, select OK. Now, we move on to restoring the SD card and EMU MMC. But before that, we need to download the Android pack, so let's go back to the computer. For the Android pack, we'll be using Lineage OS. To download it, we'll use the Switchroot Lineage OS Downloader, application created by Statix. Why use this app? If you download Lineage OS directly from the official website, you'll need to manually download each required file and then compile them yourself. But with Switchroot Lineage OS Downloader, you can skip that hassle. Just click the download button and everything will be handled for you. Now, I'm on the application's GitHub page. Next, click on Releases. Then select Switchroot Lineage OS Downloader.exe to download it. If you also want to install Google Play Store, you'll need to download Mind the G apps. Look for the zip file extension and download that one. Now that we've downloaded both files, Switchroot Lineage OS Downloader and Mind the Gaps, let's proceed with downloading the Lineage OS Android Pack. First, run the Switchroot Lineage OS Downloader application. Once it opens, you'll see two variant options, tablet and TV. I'll choose tablet since it seems more suitable for the Switch, but you can pick whichever you prefer. Next, click Check Build. Once the build version appears, select Select Folder to choose the download location. I'll save it to the desktop. Now, click Download to start downloading the Lineage OS Android Pack. Let's wait for the download to complete. Once it's done, you'll notice a new folder on the desktop named Lineage OS with the build version. This folder contains the Android pack we just downloaded. Now, we need to copy all the contents of this folder to the root of the SD card. To do this, reconnect the switch to the computer using a USB Type-C cable, just like before, through USB tools. Back on the computer, open the Switch SD drive and copy the entire Lineage OS Android pack to the root directory of the SD card. Then, also copy Mind the Gaps to the root folder of the SD card. Next, we need to restore the custom firmware pack and EMU MMC from our backup. But before copying, open this backup folder, navigate inside, and move the EMU MMC folder into the Restore folder. This step ensures that EMU MMC can be restored via Hecate later. Now, return to the root of the My Backup folder and copy all its contents to the root of the SD card. Wait for the copying process to finish. If a window pops up asking to replace files, select Skip These Files. Once it's done, eject the SD card safely and let's go back to the switch. Now let's restore EMU MMC. Still in the Tools menu, select Restore EMMC. 
Don't forget to toggle SDMUMMC raw partition to on. Then start by restoring MUMMC boot 0 and boot 1. Then press the power button to begin the restore process. Once done, select close. Next, restore MUMMC raw GPP. and press the power button to start the restore process. Once completed, select Close. Now we move on to flashing Android onto its partition. Return to the Home menu and select NIC settings. Then choose Dump Joy-Con BT. Once done, select OK and Close. Go back to the Tools menu and select Partition SD Card. Choose OK, then select Flash Android. Click Continue, then Continue again. Now select Factory Reset, then Format Data slash Factory Reset. Next, choose Format Data. And then Format System Partition. Confirm by selecting Yes. Once done, click the left arrow in the top corner to go back. Now, choose Apply Update. And select Choose from SD Card. From the list, select the lineage os.zip file. Wait for the patching process to complete. Now, let's add Google Play services. Again, choose Apply Update and select Choose from SD card. This time, pick the Mind the G apps.zip file. Wait for the patching process to complete, then select Yes. Once everything is done, reboot the switch by selecting Reboot System Now. Now, return to Hecate. To boot into Android, go to More Config. You should now see a new icon labeled Lineage OS. Select it to launch Android on your switch. On the first boot, you'll need to go through the initial setup. Configure everything as you prefer. That's it. You have successfully installed and are now running Android on your modded Switch. One last thing we need to do is check whether Emunand is still working properly on the Switch, since we formatted the SD card earlier. To do this, Restart your switch and boot into Emunand or MUMMC. Alright, as we can see, the switch is booting normally, and the previously installed game is still showing up here. That means everything is working as expected. Alright, that's it. Now, your switch can run Android smoothly while still keeping your custom firmware intact. Even though we reformatted the SD card, your switch will continue to function normally just like before. You can still boot into your custom firmware or switch to Android whenever you want. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.